Security Plus is considered, first and foremost, an entry-level cybersecurity certification. It's meant for people that are brand new into the field. Maybe you're just getting started. Maybe you're currently in IT and you're trying to get in to cybersecurity. Whereas CYSA is more of considered an intermediate cybersecurity certification. Uh, this is for people that may have already had help desk experience with a little bit of cybersecurity and they want to expand their skill base, right? Uh, these are people for security analysts, more for threat intelligence analysts, maybe trying to do something with incident response, more again on the defensive side, not really on the offensive side, but it's very much more in depth than Security Plus. Now I hold Network Plus, I hold Security Plus, I hold CYSA Plus, I hold CISP, uh, and I have a bunch of formal education on the side. Uh, but all that aside, which one do I gravitate for? Well, if you've ever watched any of my videos, you probably know that I am a big fan of CYSA Plus, the version 3, which is the current version that's out. Does that mean that I think the Security Plus isn't worth getting? Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Security Plus is 100% worth getting if you're first into, into cybersecurity, if you're thinking about cybersecurity. I recommend almost to every student, regardless if they've got an IT background, regardless if they're, they've they been in cybersecurity before, uh, wherever they are, I usually recommend they start with Security Plus. Focus for Security Plus is, is very much fundamentals of cybersecurity, right? It's all over the board, but it's very entry-level stuff, right? It talks about threats. It talks about attacks. It talks about uh, threat actors. Uh, it goes into depth of, of basic network architecture and what a firewall is versus an IDS versus an IPS, uh, what a UTM is, what a SIEM does. I mean, it, it kind of goes and touches on everything, but it's more of that knowledge factor of saying, I know what this is. It doesn't really go into depth with it, and that's where CYSA comes into play. CYSA expects you to know how to relog. CYSA expects you to understand the different frameworks that are associated with it. Security Plus may ask you, you know, uh, what's the difference between PCI DSS versus HIPAA? And that's that's typical of Security Plus, and you're supposed to know that. CYSA comes into play and it says, okay, here's PCI DSS. You should already know this. What are some guidelines associated with PCI DSS, right? Now, again, it's not going into so much depth to where you have to be like the Encyclopedia Britannica over CYSA, but it is expected that you understand that it's the payment card industry, data security standard, and here are the finite rules associated with it, again, from an overly broad perspective, but more in depth than what you would see on Security Plus. Now, there is a lot of crossover between Security Plus and CYSA when it comes to some of these questions, and in other ones, they're not. For instance, MITRE Attack Framework. In Security Plus, you just kind of need to know what it is. In CYSA, you need to know the steps you need to know to adequately articulate the different points of it. Uh, for instance, with the Diamond Framework, you need to know all four points, right? And so on and so forth. Whereas Security Plus, you just kind of need to know that, yeah, it's it's security related and it has to do with this, right? Uh, and so a lot of those frameworks that you see in Security Plus are very much like very, very surface level. Next, I want to go into the difficulty level. Security Plus, in my opinion, really isn't an overall difficult certification. It's really not. As long as you go in there and you've done your proper homework, you've gone through the testing, you've read a book, uh, you've taken an online video class, you're probably good to go. You really are. You could probably pass Security Plus in anywhere from three to four weeks. I often recommend students that have never seen security. It's their first time. They don't have an IT background. Probably six to eight weeks. But most people that have any type of technical background could probably pass it in about three weeks with some heavy, heavy studying and lots of, of exams. CYSA, on the other hand, you have to have practical application and experience, right? And so you need to be able to touch some tools. Now, the good news is the tools that you have to touch, they're not, we're not talking about complicated CrowdStrike. We're not talking about a seam like Splunk. You don't have to be able to, to go through and actually touch those tools, but you do need to be able to read a log. And so you'll notice that in my practice exams, if you've ever taken CYSA and Security Plus, I do a lot of questions that have to do with logs. In Security Plus, they're very, very, very low level. Uh, but when we start going to CYSA, they take a little bit more of an in-depth look at it. Um, and that's really because CYSA very much is practical application of the tools. Uh, now, the tools are supposed to be in a way to where everybody has access to them. That's not really the case. CYSA could or CompTIA could have done a better job with that, in my personal opinion. But overall, uh, it's definitely doable if you do a little bit of homework on the side, right? You have to be able to read a log. You have to be able to uh, uh, critically think, and I understand where that log's coming from figure out everything that's attached with it. Um, and CYSA really is more of, of that kind of application oriented to it. And that's kind of why they recommend that you have two or three years of experience 
in a technical role like a security analyst before you get started on it. Uh, I don't agree with that at all. I think that as soon as you get Security Plus, you should definitely start studying for CYSA. Maybe you're studying for three months. Maybe you're studying for six months, right? Maybe you're only studying for two weeks. But I think that you're, you're making a mistake in the service for yourself, and this, again, my opinion, by not immediately starting to study for CYSA right after Security Plus. Because I, I honestly, I think that's perfectly doable for a student to pass CYSA with enough study after they've done Security Plus. Um, prerequisites, right? We already talked about this a little bit. We understand that, that Security Plus, no, no background required, right? It's recommended that you have a basic understanding of IT. Matter of fact, I would tell you, you have to have a basic understanding of IT. You need to understand the difference between a private and a public IP address. You need to understand, you know, what a switch does versus a hub. You need to understand some basic networking um, uh, terminology as well as it comes into play, right? You need to understand what a port is and what a protocol is. You need to understand a lot of those different nuances that have to do with networking and in some cases even an operating system but you don't have to be an expert at it you just have to understand it and again you can get that out of a book cysa not really the same thing uh with cysa you're looking for more of an in-depth knowledge you have to put your hands on it you have to actually understand it uh it's not out of the question to expect you to understand how to read a script uh it's not out of the question to say hey here's powershell I want you to read the PowerShell and tell me what it's doing. And that's that's part of CYSA. Now, they're not trying to trick you, right? They're not going in and giving you lines and lines of code, but the expectation is that you can read the code and you can kind of get an idea of what it's accomplishing by reading it. And again, it's not real coding, it's scripting, uh, which is very, very easy. You could probably pick it up in about three or four hours of just watching somebody explain scripting to you, and you'd probably be okay. Um, whereas Security Plus, not really something you have to worry about. It's it's more about the high-level understanding of it, not something you really need to dive depth into. They're not going to ask you Linux commands. They're not going to ask you programming scripts. They're not going to ask you any of that stuff. Uh, and so you don't have to worry about it. So Security Plus, very much a high-level uh, uh, certification, whereas CYSA, very much more in-depth. When it comes to the tools and technology, you got to remember that, that Security Plus is more focused on frameworks, right? It's more focused on the overall knowledge and understanding, hey, this is what a firewall is, right? And this is how it would function. And here's an IDS and IPS. And you don't really need to, to touch it. You just need to kind of understand how it works. Uh, and again, you can learn that all from a book or a video course. Whereas CYSA, well, you kind of need to know how one functions and you need to be able to read the output and you need to understand what a vulnerability scanning tool is and what the output looks like and what CV, uh, uh, CVSS scores are uh, and, and so on and so forth. I love how I said CVSS scores, but you, you get that point, right? Uh, and so understand not only what the tool is outputting, but understand how to read the output of that tool. You're expected to understand Wireshark. You're expected to understand Prowler. Uh, uh, there's a couple other tools out there as well, right? But again, you don't need to know how to use the tool. You just need to be able to read the output of the tool in a lot of cases. Uh, the other thing is you have to be able to understand basic commands on a system. Uh, and that requires you to basically understand some some C prompt and some DOS prompt and some Windows commands and a little bit of Linux when it comes into this. Now, again, they're not asking you to go into depth with this, but they are asking you that you understand the basic concepts. And as long as you go through that, you'll be good to go. It's not an overly complicated or hard exam as long as you've done your research, you've done your homework, and, and you've taken a course. Uh, when it comes to cost, there's a little bit of a difference between the two. Um, well, there's not. I mean, both are $392, I believe. Um, the, the Security Plus and CYSA, both of those acquire an academic. So if you're, if you've got a .edu email address, you can get, I think it's like 40, 45% off. You just have to go to CompTIA Academia. Uh, I'll try to remember to post the link below so you've got access to it. Um, and both are good for three years. Now, CYSA is a stackable cert for Security Plus, which means if you have Security Plus and you pass CYSA, it automatically renews your Security Plus, just like Security Plus automatically renews Network Plus. And so it is considered to be a higher level certification now if you do cysa plus first and then you do security plus after it does not work in reverse right uh your security plus is not going to auto renew your cysa uh when it comes down to that but there's really a no cost difference between the two so now that we've kind of explained the difference between the two which one should you go after i'm going to tell you always do security plus first always always do security plus first well, and there's a number of reasons for this first off you should know everything in security plus before you tackle cysa plus and if you don't you're going to be at a disadvantage. You really are. The other thing is that Security Plus is very much widely known across the board as that, that core fundamental certification, whereas CYSA, it's just starting to gain some ground. 
Uh, I think it's going to blow up. I really do. And that's because I like the certification so much. Maybe I'm biased a little bit. Uh, but I really do. I think CYSA is going to be a certification that people are going to be starting to look for. And, and in my opinion, CYSA is the first true cyber security certification that anybody should go after. Security Plus is a great cert. It really is. But it's fundamental knowledge. It's something that I would expect IT to have, right? It, it literally is kind of going through and it's like, hey, dummy, don't click on phishing emails. Whereas CYSA is, here's an output of a phishing email. Tell me why it's a phishing email and not a legitimate email, right? And so there's those little bit of differences that come into it where CYSA is practical application and Security Plus is basically fundamental high level overview of the two, right? Um, and so when anybody asks me which one I should get first, I always say Security Plus. I don't think you should ever jump the gun and not get Security Plus with CYSA. Uh, and that's a little bit different than what people have asked me in the past when it comes to Network Plus, which I'll do another video about that later. But Security Plus is, in my personal opinion, one of the core certifications that you should get right off the bat, regardless of what level of cybersecurity you're at. Even if you've been in cybersecurity for 15 years, I still think you should get Security Plus. It's not an expensive certification. It's something you should know already within your position. And you may, if you've been in cybersecurity for 15 years, go, oh, I, I didn't know that. And you're going to learn something. I, I, anytime I crack open a book, I learn something. And so having Security Plus just kind of formalizes that, that knowledge and says, yes, I've already got it. Uh, people usually ask me and they say, okay, well, I've already had Security Plus, but I've let it expire. Should I still go get it again? Uh, I would still do it. I would still do it. And no, CompTIA is not giving me kickbacks, right? Uh, but I would definitely still go get Security Plus. I don't think you're going to need to do a lot of studying, but I think it is something that you should 100% do. Um, and, and I'll kind of go in how to pass Security Plus very quickly. If you've already got a background, I'll do that in another video. But that's my take. That's my, my final thoughts on it. I would... I, Security Plus is a fundamental security certification that everybody should have. Does everybody need to I say? I don't think so. It really depends on where you are in your career. Uh, I think if you're trying to get ahead and you really want to kind of prove your point and edge out somebody else, I would go get it. It's not an overly difficult certification. I always reckon my students, uh, regardless of where they're coming from, even if they're going from a different career path or they're in college or wherever they are, go get CYSA right after Security Plus, start studying for it immediately. You won't be disappointed. I think it will edge you in. I really do believe that. 